Why, hello everyone. Welcome back to Playframe and wake up. <gasps> We're going back to... I saw you. We're going back to space. I don't know if you expected more space today, but surprise. It's space. Oh, that's cool. The moon was close and then we blinked and it was far. Neat. Anyway, space. So, I have learned some new things, mostly from you. <laughs> But it's good, because it's things that's probably going to help make watching this less frustrating. Yes, probably. So, various things to go over. One, uh, folks... I'm gonna pause real fast. Folks in comments mentioned uh, when the um, <laughs> when the save file corrupted last week and I started over, that um, there are some minor things in the DLC that can be a little bit different, depending on how much of the base game you have done, how much has been added to your ship's log. Uh, and that seems interesting. So in between sessions, I've done a little bit of work going back through and um, <clears throat> going back through and trying to fill this back out again, speed running around the universe a little bit. Still some work to do, obviously, but uh, I'm making some progress because I figured like any of the static things there are to find in the world are going to be there every single time, every single cycle. Like, there's nothing I could accidentally do that's going to then be missed and not caught on camera, right? The one thing I figured can't be caught on camera again, potentially, if I uh, accidentally trip over it, is character dialogue. So I've been intentionally not talking to anybody while doing this. I figure maybe next week, once I've been a little bit more thorough and filled in some more of the blanks, uh, we'll start an episode by me just sprinting around the universe to all the talking people and seeing if they say anything new or different about my cool space findings. And if they don't, oh well, the log will be more full and that'll be good. Uh, also, another thing that I <coughs> amusingly didn't think about um, back at the time is that that's a feature and you can do that. The game told me and I didn't notice. <laughs> I remember now though because someone else told me. Um, several of them, actually. I just needed the repetition was the problem. What else? Um, I know I learned some new things or remembered some other things. Right. One thing I need to do is go... Not even leaving this planet, really. I need to go back to the new little spot, the little radio tower spot, because there's some woods near it. Uh, and somebody mentioned, and maybe they're liars, but somebody mentioned there is something neat there. I don't know if that's true. They could be lying liars, but we're going to all find out together if there's something new and or interesting in the woods. There is a path going this way. I guess I could have tried exploring that, huh? Oh, there's a fire. That's cute. Uh, there we are. This is very cute. What does this say? Despite my checking on them at least a thousand times over, the images are still not ready to print over in the radio tower. Well, it's like they say, a watched satellite never transmits data. <laughs> it's a little joke for you, journal. No one says that. Someday I'll have to study the mechanics of how time manages to slow to a syrupy crawl whenever I'm anticipating something. In the meantime, I've turned to Gabbro, our resident expert in leisurely whiling away the hours, who recommends the following. Gabbro's three foolproof tips for dozing off. One, light a nice, cozy campfire and get comfortable. Two, Gaze deeply into the serene warmth. Three, let time begin to slip away as you allow the flames to lull you into a peaceful slumber. If Gabra knew I had taken notes, they'd probably think I'd finally cracked, but I refuse to accept sass from an astronaut who deliberately burns their marshmallows. Gabra would. Do it on accident like the rest of us, weirdo. This is cute. <laughs> I like it. I just like that they also... They are... Like, they haven't left their planet. They're a 30-second walk from home. But they still wanted to camp. And I can respect that. Um, I wonder. There's other little patches of trees around here. I guess I should... Just in case, you know. Just to be sure. But you guys also shared some other interesting little tips uh, with me. One of which was... Well, I guess, you know what? I can save that one for later. That'll be a fun thing to show off for people who don't read comments, I guess. And who can blame you? You are living life right. We could all learn a thing or two from you. Let's go to space. And find out how much easier it is or isn't to just run directly into the stranger from this side. Can I do it from this side? Is that allowed? 
Or do I have to get, like, on the opposite side of it, and then... You know what? I'm trying it from this side first. Let's find out together. Well, you don't have to... Okay, well. Here, just keep going straight. Am I just gonna run into the station, actually? <laughs> Did I... Oh. No, no, it worked. <laughs> I was, like, in, uh, charging right at it. I was wondering, wait, if I do it this way, will I just run into the station that's being hidden? And the answer appears to be yes, but not damagingly so. That's nice. I should poke around out here a little more. Just in case there's anything else interesting. Like, we're on the... Uh... Back side of it now, which is usually where we arrive, and there's two obvious entrances, one on either side, neither of which seem to be, like, radically more convenient. Still neat, though. Okay, let's just, um, get inside this darn thing, please. Thank you. I'm rather glad I did spend some time running around filling the journal, and again, not just so that we can have the log, like, full up with data again, but also just to get a little more practice in navigating and using tools and stuff, just really getting that muscle memory restored. It was a worthwhile effort. I mean, I'll still do plenty of stupid things. You know what to expect. So then. I guess I should figure out a game plan here of what I want to try to accomplish. Let me see. How far can I shoot this? Far enough. This was the other recommendation, which... Genius. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Uh, the scout is pretty good at uh, measuring uh, the surface integrity of things that it's on. And I didn't really use this often enough, frankly, in uh, the base game. I guess there's only so many like places where it's that convenient to do so. But if you put that on that, it's going to measure it. Not that it really changes how fast it's going to go or anything, so I'd, I guess it's not really going to change my behavior all that much, but still doesn't hurt having uh, an active timer. Hey, slow down. An active timer on screen now and then. So I feel like I've been a little more thorough in this area. Probably not just, uh, like, completely thorough. Obviously, there's no doubt interesting bits still to see, but let's, uh, press a little bit further in before the flood happens this time. Just to see what sort of low-hanging fruit pops up, you know? Like, I could potentially jump up there. Oops. Careful. It'd be a lot easier, it feels like, to jump up there while the water's high. And then I could... Hmm. Maybe that's not advantageous at all, but I could... Uh... It's been a week since I played. Can't remember what I didn't, didn't go inside. I went in a few of these, though. So just for kicks, ooh, I want to go, like, see if I can hang, like, a very strong right going through these, uh... Like, through these narrow passages on the currents. There is definitely some more around here I need to poke around. And I could probably use my journal to, like, more specifically point me in some specific directions, but... I don't know, it's fun to just wing it for a little while. Like astronauts do, you know. Oh, that's cool. Like, the little electrical lines are up there. Oh, and they're electrically charged because they're just power lines, right? They're power lines this way. This way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. They're power lines that then suddenly are submerged. Cool. I wondered why they were just laying electrical traps for them. Whoa. Neat. Um... This is different. I like it. Don't 
fall off the raft, please. And do make the raft go into the... The light here, please. Raft, go into the light. Thank you. And descend to... Building heaven. Weird energy today. But I will not apologize. Um... So this looks broken. I'm really loving the whole aesthetic of whatever this species is. It's their whole lodge vibe. Way into it. Uh... Not loving the increased... Like, or the stronger gravity in this place. It reduces my flight capabilities. So what's going to happen out here when the water um, comes through? Like, we're tall, so it could just rush underneath. But this stuff is also pretty old. It could break. A lot of the rest of the wood seems to. Uh, man. Really wish I could read that. So... What does that do? Oh. Hello. You're new. An elevator. I like it. What's to be seen around here? Hmm. Well, here's a new thing. Okay, another one of these. So I clearly solved the last two, well, quote-unquote, solved the last two by complete accident. But my guess, after reviewing the tapes, yes, is that they just kind of need darkness to open up. There's probably a logic to figuring out which of these uh, paintings is going to move. Haven't cracked that one yet. Also, these are... They all seem to contain the same thing, right? Just the same... spooky situation. Hmm. And they're all holding those artifacts, which I still don't really know how to make... great use of myself, but... I have not forgotten. And what's this building? Let's be pretty quick with these buildings while we have them, huh? Hey! I'll take that. I'd love another slideshow. Can I get some slides? Show me slides! Come on! Yes! Did artifacts... You sit there, I'm... Going to watch a show. Okay. I need a lamp. Quickly. There might have been one closer. This is the one we're taking. So a thought occurred to me, you know, uh, last episode, I want to say, there was like that really big gap, a big bridge. Uh, that I would have had to manage to get across to get to a new area. And it occurs to me I could potentially try to just ride the wave. Usually that would be a bad idea, but, um, I have infinite tries. <laughs> Might still be a bad idea, but let's see what this is about. Okay. A little spooky there, but, um... Okay. Similar situation. So these, like, these each seem like locks. Shine a light through that thing. Form a lock around whatever the heck this is. Still don't know what it means, but it's interesting. Let's 
read, like, actually read the ship log next time. I know I said that last time, probably, but this time, let's actually do. Because we found some cool stuff last time as well. Oh, quickly. There's so little time. And so many buildings. There it goes. Still cool. And scary. Ooh. What's this then? No. Oh. Don't love that. Just... <laughs> How you doing, Scout? Here, you can come back. Uh... Hmm. Okay. Just walk careful there. Don't touch the bright green blue stuff. And, uh. Hello. Wait. I'm on the other side now. Cool. I don't have to ride the wave. Unless I'm in a different spot. That's possible. Nope, I don't have to ride the wave. It's okay. It probably wouldn't have worked. Hmm. Another one of these little chapel things. Hmm. You know, something I never could figure out consistently, no matter what... No matter how powerful a PC I play this game on, there are some times, in some areas, where the performance just really drops. My frame rate really drops down. And I've never been able to figure out why. Like, uh, it's never consistent which planet it is, or what time in the cycle it is. It is just always seemingly random. And I assume it's because... It's not because, like, the graphics load is so bonkers on this game. I'm assuming it's because there's some really wild calculation happening. <laughs> and the game is just straining with some specific circumstance or something. I don't know. Uh, never been able to figure out why or how to fix it, though. If anyone has tips, by all means, let me know. I can experiment. So we've got another... I don't know if I remember the passcode nor do I remember if it would be the same. Like... Hmm. Let's keep poking around. Maybe there'll be a hint. Where's this going? Uh, hello? Wait. Oh, nice. I was just here. And the building's still here. That's nice. A little worse for wear, but... We're still here. Um... Oh, I really wish I could remember what that, uh... What that code was. I would try it again. I'm sure it's in the ship log. We'll see it later. And then come back... And probably get treated to another show, yeah? Or something? I wonder. Anyway, let's see what else we can see before the sun explode. Its favorite thing. Mm hmm. Really feel like I'm missing. Some little nooks and crannies in these buildings. I'm so impressed with the studio's ability to... ...make such, like, relatively small planets. Like, small for planets, anyway. Make them so... ...densely packed with things to find. They're also cool little puzzle boxes. I bet I could make this jump. Don't know if I should make this jump, but let's try! Okay. Hey, I'm in! Nice! Doors open. 
Launch scout, huh? Huh. Ooh. Hang on, okay. Ha! That's cool. <laughs> Just had to manage the timing to open the door. This studio has just repeatedly demonstrated some real clever puzzle-making skill. I cannot wait to see what else they have in store for us. Hmm. I really need to get this to a projector before I run out of time. I hope I can. Where was Projector? Eh. Really hope it wasn't across the way. I don't think it was. Did I even get across the way? I think I did at one point, right? Like I started over there and then moved over here. Yeah. Don't know if I... I can't remember if I went in that building. There's so many. Uh, was it in here? I want to say yes. Yes. Good. Yes, good. Okay. Let's get that out of here and see something. All right. Roll film. Hmm. What is this? Hello. Oh, interesting. This is something breaking. It's like a damage report, but a... Uh, is this the thing that's broken here while I'm here, or did this break well ahead of time? Like, the fact that there's a reel just sitting here with that information. Surely that can't be the thing that just happened and broke while I was here. I mean, I guess it could be, but, like, it seems more likely, at least right now, that it's something that broke before. Just sort of like a... Like a log of, like, the damage that happened. Hadn't even seen this other one down here. Let's be quick. I don't imagine we have a lot of time left. And this seems to be something about the artifacts, which I'm very curious about. Teach me about artifacts, please. They were way into theaters. All right. So. They're gazing at our solar system. Some of them get bored. Decide to hang out and chat. Watch films of home. Yeah. Aw. Missing spaces. A lot of them. A lot of them. A lot of them. And then... They voluntarily set up for... This. And those things lit as they sleep or pass, either the, uh, like one of the two. Now they're breathing still. Darkness. Ha. Huh. And like the succession of things I'm seeing here, like planet, eye of the universe, artifact, that 
coffin, I guess, for lack of a better term. So that's like the sequence that these uh, slide reels I've been finding are in, yeah? And I've seen at least three of them, I think. What a cool game. Um, and I'll take this with me, but I think we're about out of time here. Is there a chance to see... Nope. <laughs> My question is answered. Man, I wish I could remember the code. We'll get it next time. Or, more likely, the time, like, five times after that. Hmm. Glad we found this side, though. There was tons back here. So... Um... Just weave around. There we go. I don't think there's time to actually see anything anymore, but... You know. Can we make the jump? Probably not. Woo! Oh, we can, wow. I overestimated the gravitational pull of this place. Still not enough time to actually see new things, though. Oh boy, there's a lot down here, huh? Yep. Ooh. Hmm. Intriguing. Yeah, we need to read the log. <laughs> Very intriguing. Hmm. What do I want to try to do next? We've got several areas that we've done a cursory sweep of, at least. You know what else could be interesting? Trying to get around to the dam before it breaks? Let's try that. Because that also sounds like a great way to end a cycle very quickly. <laughs> Potentially. Let's find out together. After reading the log. So. Let's just review all of our findings here. Because there have been many. So. A radio tower designed to receive photos taken by the Deep Space Satellite. There are several photos of the entire solar system hanging on the walls. Hornfels noticed something strange in one of the photos, but concluded uh, equipment malfunction was the only sensible explanation. This one... A massive artificial ring world hidden within some sort of cloaking field. It does not appear to be Harthian or Nomayan in origin, certainly not. The Reservoir. An enormous reservoir with wooden piers and buildings on both shores. I found a room with a burned control interface and a projection that seems to indicate a broken connection between the stranger and another craft. Is that what it was? Huh. Um. Let's start over here. The River Lowlands, a low-lying region near the entrance to the Stranger. There are wooden buildings along the banks of the river. I found several ornate metal artifacts inside a workshop surrounded by ghost matter. Also, a slide reel that shows the origin of the Stranger and its inhabitants. Uh, several slides have been burned and cannot be viewed. So this is the one that has the, uh, it's a little hard to see, but, um, oh, I can zoom, can't I? Yeah, it's the uh, one with the planet on it. So the first one uh, in sequence, it seems like. Um... And nothing else to find here, it says, so we'll believe it for the time being. Sealed Vault. Very curious about that one. Uh, the Hidden Gorge. A narrow gorge along the rightmost branch of the river. There are dwellings built into both the cliff uh, faces high above. Okay, so this is where we were last. It, it'd be good having some names for these places. The Hidden Gorge, the River Lowlands, 
Reservoir is... Okay, Reservoir is where the dam is, which, you know, makes sense. <laughs> um, have we not found... Are these the only two slide reels we found? Have we not found the Eye of the Universe one? Maybe we haven't. For some reason, I thought we had. Uh, hull breach. I found a slide reel in the hidden gorge that shows an explosion blowing a hole in the side of the stranger. Yeah. This slide reel shows the stranger's inhabitants congregating around a strange green fire. Several slides have been burned and cannot be viewed. Several understates it. It's like at least half of the reel. The abandoned temple. An abandoned temple marked with the symbol of a burning slide reel. It can be accessed from a passage in the hidden gorge. That is what that symbol was, huh? Hmm. In the cinder aisles. I need to do a lot more poking around here. There's definitely at least one building I've not been thorough with. A pair of small rocky islands connected by a village of stilt houses. I found a large metal symbol for the Eye of the Universe inside a burned-out building. More to explore there. Makes sense. Uh, and in the reservoir. So the slide reel from the River Lowlands showed a strange vault being closed and sealed with chains and a glowing symbol. A slide reel from the Hidden Gorge showed a glowing symbol and chains appear around a strange vault. Right, so... Yeah. Hmm. Which one to prioritize next? You know what, let's do the reservoir thing and go for it and just see what we can see before it breaks. Here we are. Back again. Let's go for it. It seems a little bit faster to come through this way, right? I don't have to go to the other side of the building. What am I doing? I don't have to go to the other side of the building. I don't have to go through the whole uh, entrance rigmarole on that side of it. It's probably not significantly faster, but it feels a little faster, right? And buys us just a little more time. Oh, you know what else we should do? We should go see if we can find the broken thing on the outside of the stranger. If the broken thing is still attached to it. Might not be. Seems worth trying, though, right? Alright, we're coming back to you later, all of you. Let's go far left this time. I wonder if there's anything interesting on this side. I mean, I do see some buildings, but I think... Hmm. I think we must have seen those before. Yeah, we did. We did. That's where the big jump was. A big, long gap that you don't have to jump across. Or ride a wave to. Which is for the best. Oh, rough water. So I feel proud. I feel pretty good about a lot of the poking around I did on this side. Careful of the rocks. But let's see what there is to see over here. Several buildings on either side. Ugh, cruel. I've got to pick one. I've already poked around some of these, haven't I? I have. Let's do the other side. That's right, and there's a thing that's like submerged down there on this side that I've not looked into at all. I am interested. Here we go. Okay. Wonder what it says. Eh. Very intrigued by that. Also a door down there. Mm. Not a whole lot here. Let's try the door, or... Yeah, let's try the door. Huh. One way, huh? 
Seems like there's a lot in there. Oh, I could swim to it, couldn't I? I bet I could. Maybe. You know, let's try. Haven't spent a lot of time in the water. I have had a difficult time getting out of the water, though. There we go, okay. I don't know why, sometimes I have more difficulty getting out of the water. What's going on here? So that's that... Oh, it's an actual diving bell, huh? <laughs> cool. I better hurry so I can hang out in that thing a little bit. Ooh, refueling. That's nice. All right. Um... Hmm. Controls broken. That's fine. I got a suit. Uh... There we go. I wonder if I can sink far enough to, um... Probably, right? It's deeper than I thought. It's fine. Let me in. Yeah! Oh, I thought this would be air by now, but that, that's fine. Here we go! Air! And, ah, uh, this is where you are. I bet there's a very, very good reason whatever you are got locked up so tight. I need an artifact, don't I? Dang. Well, maybe I need an artifact, maybe not. I need something, though. Because I don't know what else to do in here. Just felt a shake, though. So that's not good. So... Why did they submerge this thing? Hmm. Get out of the water. Come on. Out of the water. Yeah, what is it sometimes working, sometimes not, I wonder. Yeah, come on. Oh, I need to, uh, like, I've been holding the thrusters down. Uh, I need to wait till I'm out of the water, then let go and hit them again. Which I guess kind of makes sense, like, it's the difference between just sort of like a little underwater boost versus, like, uh, actual ignition. I guess that kind of makes sense. Is there anything else of interest in here? I better find out quick, because once uh, the flood happens... This is not going to be a good building to be in. Ah, I need, really need to hurry if I want to get up on the dam, or near the dam. Yeah, I better move. Probably don't want to be on the dam, but near the dam. But there's also something over here. Well, uh, maybe not, but... Hmm. So many things to check. Go quick. Quick, quick, quick. Fire! Okay, we got a little time. Good, good, good. It is nice knowing exactly how much time you have on occasion. Okay. I bet there is something to get to by walking across the dam. Okay. So, right, this is what we uh, got into before, and... Oh, yeah, gosh, looking in the log did not show me what the code was, did it? Dang. Uh... Well, I don't have a lot of time here, so let's, um... Oh, it's the fastest way up. Using the roof, maybe? Here we go. That's not what I meant to do. Go quick, go quick. 
That 45% is going to go a lot faster than we'd like. Hmm. There's got to be a better way to do this. You just know there is. Yeah. Hmm. Get in a tree. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Get in the tree. Quick like. We are running out of time here. No. Dog on it. One up there. Maybe it might be easier on that side, honestly, but this is not going to work. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Dang. Let's get in that raft real fast. Maybe we can get over there fast enough. Maybe, 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 maybe. Ooh, yes, I think I know a way. Maybe. It's a big maybe, but possibly. Yep, yeah, there we go. Quick, go. Go, 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 go. I feel like this is not going to be a very productive cycle, but we are figuring a few little things out. Uh, no, maybe this won't work as well as I'd hoped. I thought maybe there'd be like a, more of a slope to climb on this side. Hmm. Man. Mm, maybe. Okay. Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. Yeah. Come on. Come on. No. Curse you tall cliffs. Eh. No. But I went up there. Really running out of time to be up there. Come on. To be up there. Ah. Like really running out of time for that though. It's gotta be a way. Rooftops. Rooftops. Rooftops, maybe? Maybe rooftops. Possibly rooftops. Okay, there we go. Yes, yes, yes. Here we go. Uh, it took too long to figure out. Eight percent is much smaller than I'd like. Percent-wise. Oh, hurry. Get in there now. <laughs> Don't be not in there. Ooh, cool. Uh, what's gonna happen? It's gonna be fine, right? Yeah. Bye, Scout. Seems fine. That's good. Okay. We have an elevator, and I'm a little nervous to ride that, given the destination may be a little submerged. We'll try that last. Um, cool little viewing room, because these astronauts knew how to live. Really doing it right here. Now... This... Ooh... Is very interesting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What do we got? Here. So... Huh. The sun charges the station or gets fed from the station, like processed through the station to what?
Hmm. I'm guessing this is like the... This could either represent like the little barrier kind of like obscuring it somehow, or it could be sending the power of the sun outward to question mark, like outside the boundaries of our solar system. Who knows, man? I do not know what that wall means, but I'm very interested. It might be time to try the elevator. I mean, the sun's going to explode in minutes. It's not like <laughs> stakes are high here. So why not? Actually, first, let's get a fun little view out here to see how our dam is doing. Partly missing. A little bit broken. Do you think we can fix it? Maybe not in the next three minutes. Let's... Let's go in the elevator. See what's down there. I've been spending fuel too much. So... Uh... Yep. Not... What I meant to happen. Bring that back, please. Come on. Thank you. Down. There we go. Where am I? Oh. What? Oh, that's a little shortcut, isn't it? Why don't you look at that? And if there's elevators like that, sometimes tucked behind the spaceships in the hangar on that side, in this hangar, what might there be in the other ones? Nothing. But maybe something in other places. There might not be other shortcuts, but that has suggested there could be. Just not here. Wait, no. Something. Something. Nothing. There's nothing on this one anyway. Which side is this one? Are we... Sorry, I'm sure it's darn near impossible for you to see right now, but um... Are we on the sunny side right now or the darkened side? Kind of looks like the darkened side. Yes. Okay, so the darkened side, if you run up around... No, not there. I should, um, restock, maybe, while I'm here, you know? Here we are. There. Plenty stocked up for the next minute and a half, maybe. Eh. Where were they hiding this thing? It's so dark in here. Here we go. Okay. So this is here, and I can... Boom! Just get directly to the dam entrance very quickly anytime. That's nice to know. And now I really want to poke around the hangar on the other side. Maybe there are other shortcuts. Okay, well, I don't really know what else to investigate now. Oh, cool, you can actually see the, uh, progress of the sun here. Is it pushing us further out? It is, isn't it? 
Because we were like right there before. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, earlier, the sun was in this space here. And this was positioned right here. There were two gaps. So the sun going that is, uh, and it's pushed us out here. What's out here? What's the difference? What's the difference? What does that barrier mean? Is this like outside supernova range? And it's still going. I guess... I saw some people speculate in comments, and I'm guessing, like, some people have been doing a little, like, wink, wink, oh, I wonder if this is the case, because they're not <laughs> very good at disguising their spoiler comments. But other people have been, like, speculating legitimately, I think, asking, like, all right, so it seems like anytime the sun goes nova and we respawn, it's not because the sun supernova is hitting us, it's because, in theory, like, the Ash Twin Project is triggering, and that is, uh causing us to just respawn, as if we had just gone, like, flown ourselves way too far outside the solar system or something. If this is what I think it means, then, um, this little guy is outside supernova range. So if we turn the Ash Twin Project off, there goes immortality, but then also, uh, we could have a little more time to poke around, and who knows where this ship is going to go. That's really interesting. We will get a game over if we die, which I guess isn't that different from just quitting and reloading, really, but... Yeah, how close does this get before... before we, uh, get zipped back and reset? Just, come on, thing, get out of my way, I can't see. There... Yeah, it doesn't get very close, huh? I am fascinated. And I don't know if I'm gutsy enough to attempt that yet. But once I start running out of ideas... <laughs> we have a very reckless fallback. Man, I adore this game. <laughs> Thank you for watching, y'all. I will see you on Wednesday for some more of this. Do take care, and goodbye.